Chess. My name's Steve. I'm Jessica. And today we're going to destroy some value with the Beast of the Mesozoic Raptor and Ceratopsian series of the Velociraptor, the Proceratops, Protoceratops, Protoceratops my bad, and the Styracosaurus. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I am horrible at pronouncing these names. <laughs> so you're just going to be Strac. Proto Velociraptor <laughs> makes my life easier. Um, why did you pick these up? Because I had to get the Velociraptor, his companion that they made the death pose with, and then I I freaking love Styracosaurus. Okay, were you planning on getting any more of the Ceratopsins or? Um, I kind of want to get the adult trike, and then the there's a Taurosaurus too. They're both on the big boy side. These are just the little guys. Yeah, I know personally for me for this line, I'm more excited for the, um, the whatever they're called, the T-Rexes, the T-Rex, essentially. The T-Rex line is, oh my god, that's going to break me. Right. I, I mean, I'm worried. I'm like, oh god, there's so many. Yeah, there's quite a few of those. For the most part, I feel like you, you kind of got, like, outside of Triceratops, you kind of got the other ones right here. I kind of wanted the Chasmosaurus that was in this wave, too, but I, I was like... Can't afford it right this second, and I'll just stick with these two right the second. Alright, well, I guess we'll start cracking into these. We'll start with the Raptor, then we'll move on to the Proto and the Straco. Straco. Alright. <laughs> People can yell at me in the comment section below. Alright. I don't think I really need to take the sleeve off, right? Yes. What the heck was on it? Just it was dust. I'm sorry. It was been Angel's room. Oh, so it's, it's Katie's what on this. <laughs> I've had it for uh, a little while. I was just waiting to open them until I got the his mortal enemy. Right, because we've had a few. We've done some videos on the channel for them, but we didn't have any of the actual Velociraptors. I don't think. Right. Yeah, I think there was like two different variants. Yeah, because we have two color variants too. We have the Balor and the Bart. Oh, wait, no, it was the Bardock and the Dromaeosaur. Yeah, I was like, I think it was like Dromaeosaur. If I can get it out, anyways. Yeah. So I thought this kind of peeled apart, but I guess not. Oh, yeah, I forgot they come with little extra toes. Yeah, I hope you didn't, we didn't lose the extra toes for the other two. <laughs> I think you put them somewhere, if I remember right. I don't remember anymore. I've had those for a while. But I think we still have the boxes for these. We should. So if we I just think it was just like the insert I didn't have anymore. Yeah. It might be in one of the drawers of the... The drawers of parts. <laughs> Get his tail on. Oh, that went up pretty easy. So you guys, a giant, long-ass, fluffy tail. <laughs> Little feathers on the end. Uh, paint job on the wings aren't too bad. There is a little bit of rub in a couple spots. Where the black maybe could have been a little cleaner. See a couple of spots here as well. At least his eyes are looking straight, so that's cool. That's good. Yeah, I'd say it's like maybe slightly angled, but it's nothing drastic. Yeah. It's, it's mainly like the nose holes can maybe be a little bigger. Kitty, quiet! You're already on the stuff. You don't need to be in the video. Oh, God. I think she's hungry. She gets very vocal when she wants some food. Um, but you do get some a couple of dots here on the feathers here. Coloring. It's a lot of reds, blacks, and yellows. Overall, not too bad. I forgot the tons pullable on these. Uh -huh. Hey. Get it close. These parts articulate outwards. Uh, the hands don't really move. It's mainly the feathers are kind of stuck there. And then it's tiny little legs. <laughs> Never fails. Always, every time I gotta go film something, someone either has to make noise or something happens or a battery dies. It can never go like super convenient ever. Oh, well, now she quiets up. Anyways, I like the posable tail. Although, the way the tail's kind of set up, I almost kind of... You would think it would maybe be, like, sideways. I know that's not correct. 
but... Oh, God. <laughs> Put it back. I don't know. I kind of like that, to be fair. Uh, he also... Or... It, we don't know. But I like to assume it's gender. <laughs> it's what I do. But you do got the base here. It does come with multiple stands, depending on how you want to pose it. If you want it jumping or sitting. I do love their cards. Cards, yeah, yeah cards. and then you get the little cards on the back here. Some instructions on how to hook it up. Not too bad. Not too bad. And the extra little foot in case you, depending on how you want to pose it. Mm -hmm. But we're going to park this stuff on the floor here and get into the protos. We'll do proto next. Here, you want to hold on to them for a second? I will say these ones are hefty. Yeah, At least the feeling from the package. I'm kind of worried that the pro protoceratops might be a little big. Uh, a little. <laughs> That's what I was so this confused about them. I'm like, what? well, because well, I think the one from the picture isn't that supposed to be like a juvenile? Isn't that why it's smaller? And then again, I, I just kind of see it as this is a bowl, you know, a big boy. And... There we go. Oh, still got a foot attached. Eh, there we go. So sadly with this, there's no extra feet, but you do get the card back here. Oh, it's different. It's full. Yeah, was just, this one's actually an art. It's not just the... Uh, it's probably got the back of the back. <laughs> I do like the cup. <laughs> what? what? Well, it shows you how you're, like, you're supposed to heat the tail up. <laughs> uh, I usually use a hair dryer. You can use hot water. But these seem like they've been popping on pretty easy. I heard something pop and I was scared. <clears throat> there we go. Oh. Alright, one negative. The tail coloring is darker than the body. It's kind of like that with the, lim the his black limb right over there, I thought. I could... Yeah, this is a little darker, too, compared to some parts of the rest of it. Maybe it was just because of the plastic quality for the tail? Um, could be, because the white looks a little brighter, too. Hmm. Hmm. But that's about the right color, though. Yeah. So, I don't know. To be honest, it looks like, because there's, um... It's like orange with a darker red dry brushing over top of it. It looks like on the tail they went a little too hard on the dry brushing. Yeah. Uh, paint job, other than that, looks pretty solid. Eyes again, looking nice and straight. Detailing on the head looks good. Patterning around the head. You can get some. Even the back of this. Actually. Yeah, you get some detailing on the back too. Blends pretty well. I would say the. The white's kind of hard, a little too hard around some of the edges for the patterning. Because there isn't that much of like a soft transition kind of like here on the neck. Which is kind of odd because like you look at the rest of this too because you got like that transition here but like it does, it's nowhere to be found anywhere else on the parts of the body. Hmm. Because see what the patterning doesn't quite line up here between the necks and the body. Which is a little odd. Same with the elbow. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it looks good overall, but some, like, some of the way it's set up doesn't quite make that much sense to me. With the way the black is. At least in terms of, like, whenever I paint one of these guys. Um, it just seems like there maybe should have been like a little bit more here. That looks super blotchy around the next section there. Same with up here, it's super dark, but then there's no, again, transition into the back of the head. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, it's just really weird because you can see there's like giant piece of black. None of it's over here, which... Again, like dinosaur pattern, it's not going to be like symmetrical because that's just not how things usually work in real life. But you would think it would kind of go into the back here and bleed. Yeah. Well, I call it bleeding, but like the colors should like go into the back of the head, not just have like an abrupt stop. The same with this section over here. Like it's at least trying to match up over here. This section here, it's not even close. 
Um, overall, does it like take away from the detailing of the dinosaur? No, like it still looks good. Um, but I think it maybe just could have been a little bit cleaner overall. But the detailing is nice. Like he's got his little feet with his mm -hmm. tiny little toes kind of coming off to the side. Get the four toes on the back. Haven't really played around with it much. I like his little tea. Yeah, I was gonna say I want to see. I don't, I don't know if it opens much more. I guess I'm not sure. I was gonna say there's a joint. It should open up more. I think it's just Probably stiff. Super stiff. Hey. Hey. Careful. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> there's some paint somewhere in there, but you can't get it open a little more. <laughs> that was nerve wracking. Oh, there you can see the teeth on the inside of the jaw. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, overall, like, it's nicely posable. Get decent playability out of it. Like, again, I like it. Like, how much was this? Uh, I think 25? Yeah, 25. Like, this seems fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, would, I, yeah, I think it's a little, <laughs> probably a little bit more, especially for the size. But, like, sit on your shelf. Like, that's going to look really good. I just... Being a little bit more nitpicky, I guess, on the patterning. But overall, not too bad. Like, I do like the color variety. Like, the the color choice for it was great. Yeah. Um, it was just some of the black and the transitions for the colors maybe could have been a little bit better. Um, but anyways. Again, hand them off to you. Yeah. The, I think this is the one I'm most excited about, yeah, personally. I really, I really love this. I always had a soft spot for him. <laughs> yeah, I always liked this one too, just because of all the horns. You just, I don't know. I guess like growing up in the 90s, just more spikes the better, you know. That's just kind of our motto. God, if I cut it. I keep, I keep forgetting to just grab a better pair of scissors for this. Like, I got my stuff from my models, but I just never grab it. Uh, that leg's almost free. All right, there we go. Stick it on the ground. Uh, there is also another car, too. This one is also a part of the artwork, which looks really good, too. Yeah, sadly, they have, they have calendars. It's just, I think they were just a Kickstarter thing. Try to adjust this a bit. Angel! Yes, I can't still yelling upstairs. Stop! Ugh, so that one's a little stiffer. Whew. Um, let's see, detailing wise, again, there's a couple little rub spots from here and there. On the top section there. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm digging the coloring a lot. Although, I'm not 100% what's going on with these little legs right here. <laughs> it's really dark, but there's green on the under section, which matches up. But the edges are really hard there again, too. But other than that, like the hind leg matches the body pretty well. Tail coloring looks good. There's the red coming along the back abrupt stop at the tail but it's kind of the way the patterning is uh, same with the back of the tail here is a little bit of the red uh, around the neck and then it kind of from the neck goes upwards yeah i can't remember what i mean the nice thing about david silva's stuff is you know they all get based off of like living creatures like most of the raptors obviously they mostly got based off of birds mm -hmm. and he's got i can't remember what they were all no I do like Realistic. that they have, um, like the pattern here makes it look like eyes mm -hmm. to make it look more intimidating. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, the horns look nice, got a little bit of detailing at the tips. Yeah, I gotta say I'm digging this one. I think out of the, out of the lot, I'm kind of, I feel like this one's probably my favorite. But especially with the patterning, it makes quite a bit of sense on here. Like, again, this green, I don't know where it really matches up with on the body. Like, 
here would have been if you were maybe trying to get it as a statue. Yeah, yeah, yeah that matches up on that side too. Because especially with a lot of patterning on dinosaurs or even like when you're doing giant monsters and stuff, there's it's not gonna lot. You generally have like one spot where like it's kind of the, how the figure's meant to be posed, and that's how your patterning should be. And then the art, once you articulate, it's not gonna line up, but. Um, there should be at least like one section that it'll look super clean. Um, but other than that, yeah, looks really good. Like it's even like the cream colored patterning for the side here too. Yeah, I'm really digging this one. Uh, if you want to hand me the other ones. It's just kind of throwing me off that the proto is so huge compared next yeah, to it. Yeah, that's, that's the thing is that they wanted to be in scale with the Raptors. Um, cause they're, David Silva, they did come up with, um, But was this that Raptor. small? I thought this was... wasn't that big. Oh. I mean, obviously he was bigger, but, um, like I said, they mainly wanted the, you know, the... It probably helped photograph the stand for this. <laughs> um, like yeah, this, I always thought it was just more like trike size. Like, um, the Sataki, I mean... Or should I say the, you know, short for taco. But taco and um, the, the protoceratops were both like to scale with the raptors because that's what they were, you know, that's what their food was. and But they made smaller to actual scale ones that, that he's making. I just don't know when they're being released. Hmm. Yeah, that's a little good to do it a little bit more. But yeah, no, still super sweet. Um, especially if you guys like to pose around your dinosaurs and stuff and try to replicate certain specific scenes or even like little dioramas. Like these definitely give you a lot of bane for your buck. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this unboxing. So help us defeat those kaijus or dinosaurs, I guess, in this aspect by hitting that like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. We also got Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, Facebook. Guys, look at you over the day, which you know, donate. We greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.